Hello guys, in this short tutorial I want to show you how to start experimenting with Zen Framework 2 installed by Composer. Of course you can download other packages and install other packages with Composer as well. So, in the previous tutorial I showed to you that um, doesn't work very well, Composer doesn't work very well with earlier, with the latest versions of uh, Zen Framework which are 2.3 and above and on the my old XP machine with uh, Zen uh, with PHP 535 the newest versions 2.3 didn't work for some reason now I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate that on uh, Windows 7 and uh, newer version of PHP I won't have any troubles let me create a directory make a dir, let's say tests change directory test there let's see what version of PHP do we have here installed my assumption is uh, your PHP is already installed so here we go 5.5.10 uh, pretty new one and as I said this is Windows 7 I could have tried Windows 8, I will try on my other machine in any case so let's get started experimenting with Zen let's say you're here on Zen Framework Zen.com you go and learn you go and you wanna learn you don't wanna follow the installation of the skeleton application you wanna go your own way for example as they did for Epigility and uh, I mentioned in the previous tutorial now this this was the case before with Zen Framework 1 uh, you choose the structure of your application, you choose the folders, how they're uh, nested, how they're organized you can do this nowadays as well so let's say again we want to learn about the service manager I don't know why it's um, very interesting topic. Service Manager is the Zen Framework 2 implementation of the Service Locator design pattern. Service Manager, here we go. And you see here in the quick start code, but where do you want to now? Where do you uh, do you put this code? How do you start? Or even not in the quick start, even here. Okay, so let's start from scratch. I just created a folder. If you go and look at here in the packages, you can see all the packages offered by Zend. But if you go to Framework Zend and you click on this uh, download, you see that you can download the entire framework by hand manually, unzip it in a folder of your choice, and use it this way but there is more advanced way to uh, to do it with one of the PHP package managers Composer is gaining popularity actually it's a very popular the most popular I think right now before we have Peer and its successor Pyrus so you see that via Composer you also can install it but first we have to get Composer we are just starting so how do you download Composer? How do you obtain Composer? Here it is, through curl. If you have curl, by the way, I have curl for Microsoft Windows as well. I don't think I do have it here in this machine, I don't. But I definitely have PHP. My assumption is that you at least have PHP because you want to experiment with PHP. In the previous tutorial I showed to you that this comment didn't work for Windows XP for some reason, MS-DOS prompt. But here I'm gonna show you that it works. Paste. So let me find this folder actually. I call it the new one, Zen Framework 2 Tests. How as you can see it's empty. Now I'm gonna run this command and what this command does is downloads the installer it's the installation script, PHP script, and this installation PHP script after that downloads the composer and puts it in the folder. Let's look at here. Here we go. We have composer. 
if you don't have globally installed composer this is one way to do it another way of course is always to go to the installer composer setup and download it uh, third way is to download it manually unzip it if it's zipped I haven't tried that and just put it in the folder whatever you decide there are many 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 ways to do things in the information technologies so PHP composer par list and I'm gonna see all available comments that's it now we have composer once we have the composer let's see do we have Zen framework as a package and I bet we do most important or probably not the most important but almost all packages, almost all PHP projects are available through Composer. So let's look at for Zend Framework. Here we go, Zend Framework 2. And let's install the latest version. In order to install it, you can either create a file which is called composer.json here, or you can run a command in a command prompt and this command is gonna create anyway the composer JSON file. If you don't remember where to find the comments, uh, I'm gonna use again the framework Zend in the getting started. Rob Allen Acrobat, I think he was created the getting started tutorial. Uh, it's using here one comment here we go which you can copy and paste PHP composer par create project as development repository URL packages Zen framework Zen framework skeleton application of course I don't want to install the skeleton application I just use it as a helper to install Zent framework. Slightly different way of installing Zent. Otherwise, what I would do is I will manually create the, f the file which is called composer JSON. Open this, for example, with Notepad++. Of course, you can use uh, your preferable ID, NetBeans, for example, or uh, Eclipse, or PHP Storm, and there are many, many others. I'm not going to go through all of them. And you can create the file. And I'm going to copy right now the content. It's a simple line, but I just don't want to take a chance to make errors. Composer JSON, here we go. Edit with Notepad. Oh, I have here a lot of comments, but all you need is just to do require. You don't even need this one. And Dev master Dev as far as, I, as far as I remember and this is gonna <laughs> install the, the Zen framework in this folder so this is one way to do it and you can choose uh, and specify the version you want after that and the folder if you like, I'm gonna use uh, the way with the created by me composer file. Require Zen framework, Zen framework, dev master, dev. This is what actually where Opini says. 
Dev Master Dev in his latest message in the mail list. Hey guys, try before we finally release version 2.3 something. 2.30, 2.31. In my old XP with PHP 5.35, actually I couldn't install through Composer the versions 2.3 and above. But here on Windows 7 I will not have any troubles. Composer install. What's gonna happen is the Composer is gonna create the folder the vendor. Inside is gonna install the package which uh, I require in this case Zen Framework 2. It's gonna create the log file Composer log file with the version which Composer has installed and also is gonna give me as a bonus an auto loader PHP which I can use in my PHP applications. Okay, so let's see if that works. Wow, made a mistake. Yeah, of course, this bracket, this curly bracket is not closed. Now it looks better. Let's see if that works. Okay, it took a while. Zend has been installed. Here we we can see the suggestions. Here we go. In vendor folder, we have Zend framework. We have Zend framework here, library, and here we go. And probably the most important, auto load. This is the bonus which Composer gives us, so we can use it in our PHP files and Composer log file has been created. That's it, now we can start experimenting. We can start coding. Let's uh, start with test PHP. This is where we put the code which we see in the uh, development documentation, developer documentation. If you go to Composer now and read again, getting started, at the bottom you will see that they give you this bonus. They say, okay, you just have to use require vendor out load PHP, that's in all projects, and you're done, you're ready to go. Now, all the classes from this project, in this case Zend, will be auto loaded. I don't have to take care of the auto loader which is a big advantage. Of course then comes with the autoloader as well. Uh, I'm gonna copy a little bit code here. If you wanna read how to use the autoloader of Zend, you can go to the framework Zend documentation. I think I'm here. Uh, find the autoloader. Loader here. Quick start. This is copied. This I have copied from the quick start, and it shows you how to use the auto loader. For example, I want to have a namespace Stoyan, and I want to follow the PSR0 recommendations. I could create, for example, a folder which is called as a source. Inside, I'm going to put my folder Stoyan which will hold my the files of my classes and I can create for example one new class which I, I'm gonna call food in this case PHP this file is gonna use the namespace Stoyan Stoyan oops bump space namespace Stoyan, and here I can say, for example, class foo, whatever. Okay, now I have a class, and I would like this class to be auto loaded as well. So, this is how I define that. I say, okay, if you're looking for the namespace Stoyan, 
here it is the directory where we can find it and we have to use the factory and factory of the autoloader as it described in the documentation in this tutorial actually I'm showing how to use the components separately how to experiment with them how to start sep uh, experimenting with them so and full since I'm not in a, any namespace I can use uh, this relative but not fully qualified name of the class fully qualified class name I don't have to use it otherwise I just will prefix with one backslash and that's it if I'm in any namespace but this is gonna work and now let's try and make sure that it works PHP test PHP okay so it works my class has been instead uh, one object of my class foo has been instantiated and this class is into a namespace toyan okay uh, let me show you the PHP again if I haven't done it I did it okay so that's it for now hopefully this is gonna be helpful for someone or at least will give you ideas how to start copy and paste and where to paste the code from the tutorials even if you're not in a Zend framework application if you don't want to use the skeleton application if you want to build your own structure of the files this is how you have to start it this is how you can start it you don't have to start it this way thank you for watching and see you soon